we are on our results page, and as you can see, our first set of results is from Credo Reference. Credo Reference collects or indexes encyclopedias, dictionaries, almanacs, that kind of thing. Keep in mind that reference sources are a great way to get a quick education on your topic, to get that initial background information before you begin your serious research. Also keep in mind that encyclopedias contain only summaries and syntheses of previously published materials. Only rarely do encyclopedias contain original research. And that's why many of your teachers are going to say, please don't use encyclopedias or dictionaries as your primary citations in a paper. Okay, let's work our way through this detailed results page to see what we've got. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is to read this abstract right here. An abstract is just the scholarly name for summary. And I'm going to read this summary to make sure that this is an article I can use and even start thinking about the ways that I can use it in my, in my paper. After I've read the abstract and I've decided that this is an article I can use, the next thing I want to do, because remember it gets crowded, is to add it to my folder. So simply click on Add to Folder and it's now safe if you get kicked off, it's always going to be there for you in your folder. Now, the next thing we want to look at is the title of the publication. Notice that that title of that publication is a hyperlink. Be sure to click on the hyperlink of the title of the publication. Let's do that. Now, look, we have all the information that we need about that publication to find out what kind of publication it is and how credible it is. Now looking at this page, let's scroll down to the bottom. We know this is a periodical, right? Well, what kind of periodical is it? Look down at the bottom there. Hmm. Academic journal. Now remember, there's a big difference between journals, which are written by professionals with degrees and other credentials in a field, and a magazine. Magazine articles are written by staff writers who are generally journalists who write about a lot of different topics. Also, most journals do not take consumer advertising and are not beholden to advertisers, whereas magazines do take advertising, and that advertising also influences content. One last very important point, that journal articles, academic journal articles, usually are peer-reviewed. That means that before an article is published, it is actually vetted. It is reviewed by anonymous people who are also experts in that field to guarantee accuracy and credibility. Whereas magazine articles, you've got a few editors looking at them. So very key difference here. We have found a journal article. And many of your professors are going to specify, find only peer-reviewed journal articles. And those are some of the reasons why.